what's going on everyone welcome to my youtube channel max's corner this channel um is where i share all my sports memorabilia and cool cards and autographs and stuff so if you like those things make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and you can follow me on instagram you can find me at max's underscore corner yt let's get into today's video today is a surprise autograph um from a private signing i do not know who it is but my dad does and here's how um, the little game we're going to play works. So I open this, throw it in a ball cube, and if I can't tell who it is by the autograph, um, I'm going to ask for clues, and I'm just going to keep guessing until I get it, and you guys can guess along at home, and let's open this thing up and put it in a ball cube. Oh, smooth. Okay, let's put this in a ball cube. Okay, I'm going to turn this ball around, and here it is. So obviously, one of the clues is NL MVP in 1982 and, MV and 83. So that's pretty cool, back-to-back -back MVP. Um, but, man, I cannot really tell by the autograph who it is. So I think we're going to ask for our first clue. Okay, so here's what I kind of noticed um, when I analyzed the autograph a little bit more. Looks like the first letter in the first name is a D, and then maybe a U after that or something. Maybe the last name starts with an S um, and uh, ends in a Y for sure. I know that ends in a Y. It's clearly a Y, but still can't tell by the autograph um but the first clue was not a hall of famer but really good player who played in the nl east um two-time mvp back to back second clue please okay so this clue was um this player played for the atlanta braves for a long time and for the phillies um for a short period of time and played in the um, 70s and 80s, and late 70s and 80s and early 90s. Ah. Next clue, please. Okay, so the next clue was a really big one. It was, they played multiple positions, catcher, first base, and outfield. Um, and uh, first name starts with a D. And last name starts with an M. And that one was a big shocker for me. So, zoom, mm, me. So, uh, just got to fill in the mms. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think I might need one more clue. Okay, so the last clue was the one that really helped me figure it out. It was the last name ends with a P-H-Y. So, do. Murphy. So, Murphy. Is it Dale Murphy? Dale Murphy? Yes, let's go. I don't know why I didn't get that sooner. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, let's talk more about Dale Murphy's amazing career and why I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. Okay, so Dale Murphy was a back-to-back -back MVP, which is insane, and a seven-time All-Star and a five-time Gold Glover. And not only was he amazing with his glove, but he was also incredible um, on the offensive side. He was a four-time silver slugger and 398 career home runs with 2,011 career hits. And he played a bunch of games. He was really durable, um, played 18 years um, in his career, 15 with the Braves, three with the Phillies, and one with the Rockies. And he was really durable um, and when you have almost 400 home runs, that is, I think that should be a, um, almost an automatic ticket into the Hall of Fame. And over 2,000 hits, he had 2,111. Um, and great on both sides um, of the of the diamond. So fantastic um, fielder and great hitter. And the more I learn about Dale Murphy, the more I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. Um, but hopefully he'll get voted in by the Veterans Committee. And he also played three positions, outfield, catcher, and first base. So he was a really versatile player. And um, I'm super pumped to add this to my collection. Um, and thank you guys for watching Max's Corner. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you haven't already, and follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Max's underscore corner white team. And I'll see you guys later.